come down, which means actually it should be less than that. In our conference of plan, these flags didn't address wetlands because I didn't know the, the number of the wetlands impacted, but I did know about specific species that were located on that. So that didn't include those. These sold lease options tie for only 35 years, with two <coughs> options to extend it an additional five years each. You're talking about 45 years. Possibly 45 years. I don't know about y'all, I might not be here in 45 years, but my kids and my grandkids might be. And as I said, there are thousands of acres that are extended from Barber Road all the way straight through from Diagonal up to Morgan. There are interchange requests for 300 megawatts. I believe more than, so I think equipment full is 125, so if I give you any idea of how big this can be. I understand that if you I are. If I can correct you, Ms. Williams, yes. I do believe it's 80 megawatts. No, no, 80 megawatts, but the interchange request, I believe, so, uh, for that there are different interchange re requests that go through for your power and more of the solar. I'm not talking about that one. But that one, just for reference and size, was 125 megawatts. Okay. There's a current exchange request for 300 megawatts that's coming in at 76. Y'all haven't even seen that one yet. Okay. Guys, what I'm saying is, is, I want you to envision, because the people that have come to my office and the calls that I'm getting are from here to California to Chicago, and basically I have told them, look, just sit back and wait. I mean, I've had people show up at my door from out of state, and I said, sit back and wait, because our ag land in South Georgia, this is important to us. So I, I, I'm trying to impress upon you. And I know that y'all know that our ag land is important. But I also am concerned about decommissioning. I'm concerned about the precedent that was set for the next era. And the fact is, there has been a set of precedent, and other people may not know this in the community, but there has been a precedent with property values being lowered when they are adjacent properties. That has been set, <coughs> and that is on record. Two years in a row, actually, now. So, um, the fire hazard is an issue. I have a feasibility study going on right now for tourism and economic development. I, in, in our comprehensive plan, one of the strengths listed multiple times in our land use is our ag land, it's our farm land, it's our land. It's, it's over and over again on our, our land. The threats that are listed is solar. So um, I just want to kind of bring that back up to you because the, the point is to, I don't need to be here and y'all don't need to be here. County commissioners don't need to be here. We just need to close up shop if we're going to cover equipment in Brooks County and the Morvan and all. We're just going to cover them with solar because the fact is no one's going to want to live near a whole bunch of inverters that are making noise. It's like we're having tonight. It's, I've been out there and I've heard it too. And uh, as of Tuesday night, the city of Morvan <coughs> has just passed uh, a solar moratorium for the city limits of, Mor uh, of Morvan. So they are working on their solar ordinance. So uh, I know that that was also in discussion, even in our comp plan, but they have passed a moratorium effective as of Tuesday night, so that's really all I have to say. Thank you, Ms. Williams.